Hi, welcome to a video regarding Nicola Bully case. This video is focused on Paul Ansel and a few details regarding him. Um, there's a lot of speculation out there, a lot of rumours, a lot of different opinions, uh, facts or not facts. So did a little digging myself. This is one of Paul's companies, PNN Engineering. Uh, take note of the address, the precinct, okay, uh, in Port Cole. Port Cole. Not sure how you say that, but yeah. So take note of that address. Um, we're going to look at that address in a second, and we're going to look at the company's debts, Paul Ansel's net worth on different companies, and. Very interesting fact that he resigned as director on a company today. Yes, today. So this is just showing uh, the company was in a lot of trouble for a while. Uh, first Gazette notice, which is compulsory strike off. Uh, there it is, the official notice, which was delivered. Um, as you can see, company's gone within two months. Uh, automatic strike off, as you can see written there. Just showing you his various uh, addresses relating to businesses here. So as you can see, uh, the more recent one would be the current address, Meadow Drive, Meadow Drive, Larbeck Muse and Larbeck Muse for the two older companies there. OK, now keep those addresses in mind. So the correspondence address for the two old businesses are three Larbeck Muse. I'm sure you guys have seen that already. Larbeck Muse is the caravan park in the photo there. Apologies for using the uh, the old thumbnail for that. It's the only photo I had left. Um, so you'd think that if the mail and the post for that business of his is going there, he's, he's going to have somebody in that business that he trusts, right, to, to receive the mail. Okay, so take note of the business type, uh, repair and maintenance of aircraft and spacecraft, okay? So just keep that in mind, the type of business that one is. Okay, and the other business he has... Oh, look, maintenance of repair of motor vehicles. That may not seem like a big deal, but for me, it's just a little bit fishy. Why would you go from aircraft and spacecraft to repair of motor vehicles? It seems to me like it could just be a cover-up for something else. But that's just speculation. Right then, everybody, here are a list of his companies he's ever had. Uh, two are dissolved and two are active, as you can see. Um, now, I've clicked on the bottom one there. Active ACAD Engineering. Now, if you take a look, uh, resigned, yeah? That's today's date. Resigned on the 1st of March, 2023. What's been going on lately with that business for him to resign today? I wonder. So here we go. We're going to look at ACAD Engineering. There's the, uh, the main thing. And we're going to delve further into the financials of that company and of Paul Ansel himself. Here we go. OK, there he is, uh, director, born October 1978, exactly 10 years before me, 44, makes him 44 years old. Uh, and now we're going to look into the financials of the company and how much he's net worth or not and stuff like that. So here we have the financials, uh, net worth 2015, £1,000 and 2017 net worth drops to minus eight grand. So 2017 for Paul was not a good year. Um, assets are £8,000, but then liabilities, debt, 17, nearly 18 grand. Um, in the grand scheme of things, probably it's not a big deal. But as you can see, his debt's gone up and his, his net worth has gone down. So that's not a good, uh, good combination there. So we're going to move on to the next one now. So here we have the more recent companies, uh, debt and money. Now, as you can see, the net worth is in the positive figures, but only just. Uh, however, the liability, the debt, uh, well, not, not so much debt, but the, um, let's call it liabilities. The liabilities have gone up from 19 grand to 53 grand from 2020 to 2021. And the total current assets have gone up pretty much the same. Um, that's quite interesting. What, what's happened in those two years? I wonder. And I wonder what's going on now with Paul's financials, whether we're back down in the negative or we're back up again. Um, again, I'm just putting these facts out there for people to look at and make their decisions on. Or you can dig deeper. Um, dig deeper and see what you find. So here we have the Port, Port Call uh, Precinct address. Now, this is supposed to be an engineering company, 
which does uh, repairs and maintenance on motor vehicles, or aircraft or spacecraft for that matter, I don't see anything there that looks like an engineering company to me. Perhaps like with the, um, the caravan park, it's just an address. It's just somebody he knows who can cover and say, yeah, that business operates here. The post goes there, but the person simply delivers the post to him. Why is he moved from the caravan park address to this address? Maybe the caravan park and him don't have a good relationship anymore, and maybe he needs to use a different address, and perhaps this is where a friend or relative of Paul's lives, and they said, yeah, put our address down, no problem. Either way, why has he changed address from that to that? Why not use his home address? He's already used his home address for his other businesses, right? Why can't he do that with this business? What's going on? So lots to think about. Here's just another breakdown of Paul Ansel's financials uh, in those two years. Uh, current net worth of £2. And yeah, lots of interesting things uh, going on in Paul's life. Lots of companies appointed and then resigned. Uh, quite a bit of money going around. Be interesting to uh, pay for the credit report, which I could have done, 20 quid. To actually see what's going on with that business or if there's any CCJs or anything like that. Now, this is just a random screenshot. I thought I'd share it. It's a little bit relevant. Um, as you can see, Terry Drew, retired aerospace engineer. Aerospace engineer. Interesting. And then above, you can see Nicola Jane Bully uh, has made a comment. And Blackpool Police have actually replied and said, we are still asking you for your help to find Derek Clayton, who is missing from Poulton Lafayette. Aerospace engineers gone missing in the area and Nicola's trying to help find him. How does Nicola know this person? It's interesting, isn't it? It may be nothing at all, but it's a bit of a coincidence that. Uh, again, I'm only putting it out there for people to see uh, and dig deeper and just, just to build a bigger picture, really. And any more evidence I come across, I, s I shall definitely be sharing it uh, with everybody. Um, so, yeah, my next video is going to be uh, doing some more exploring. So, do we really think that she went over the weir? I don't think Nicola went over there, if I'm honest, which, for me, that, that in itself just rules out, you know, the police theory. That, that weir right there, that, that rules it out. Um, but, yeah. Just thought I'd put that up, uh, for people to see at the end of the video. And, finally, we're going to do some more exploring up at St Michael's. Uh, just thought I'd show you the river again. It's a beautiful view. And obviously, the more we see it, the more we believe that, you know, what has and hasn't happened, etc. Um, so the next video is going to be some in-person walking around, probably at St Michael's. Um, and I've got a few plans in mind. I'm not going to say anything as safety. Got a few plans of what to do, where to go. So look forward to that. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody.